Finding a comfortable seated position. Take a moment to snuggle, get nicely grounded. Then from whatever's on the ground, snuggle down. And then from the floor through your core, sit up nice and tall, let the heart open, the shoulders float back and down. The hands relaxing onto the thighs or folded into the lap. Remember the chin is in slightly, just so the ears are above the shoulders. So you're sitting up nice and straight. The tongue to the roof of the mouth, just behind the teeth. And the eyes closed or cast down on the floor in front of you. Become aware of the earth beneath you as you sit solid, grounded. And then become aware of the sky above you as you sit tall like a great mountain. And become aware of the space all around you. Notice the temperature of the air against your skin. Notice the light touch of your clothing. And to all of this, add an awareness of the breath within you. Noticing what happens as you happen to breathe. Before opening your eyes, take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. What do you intend by being here today? And slowly open your eyes. Lean back to release the legs. Massage the knees and circle the ankles. So at one level today, our intention is to target the hips. Now we can target an area, but you can never isolate an area. So even though our intention is to work the hips in a variety of ways, it will also affect many other tissues along the way. We'll be working the legs and the spine to a degree. But this is our main intention, is to work through the hips. At another level, our intention is to explore dharana. Dharana is a yogic term for concentration. We'll begin with butterfly. Sitting up on something, just to help you tilt the hips a bit more forward. Bring the soles of your feet together. And then move the feet away so you have a nice diamond shape formed by the, the legs. And now to your own degree, allow yourself to fold forward, rounding the spine, allowing the head to drop down towards the heels. So the floor is the direction we're moving, but we never actually have to hit the floor. The floor is not the destination, it's the direction. <clears throat> now as always, the three principles of the yin style of yoga apply. We come to our first edge the place where we naturally stop. 
Now we could probably pull ourselves deeper, but that's not the point. Just come to where you naturally stop and then become still. And then we remain here for a while. Now, if you're fairly tight in the hamstrings and the spine and you can't fold forward, then add some height underneath your, your sit bones. Sitting up a bit higher will help to tilt you a bit more so gravity can draw you down. If butterfly feels really uncomfortable for the inner knees, perhaps you some have a medial collateral ligament problem or a medial meniscus injury, you can put some support underneath that knee. Some people like support underneath both legs. And they find even though this prevents them from going deeper into the pose, it does allow the muscles to relax and you can stay longer. And the idea in yin is to be able to linger longer in a pose, not to be as deep as possible. So in other words, time is more important than intensity. Some people find this a bit too much on the neck. They can rest their head onto a bolster or rest their head into their hands. Some people who are track three who have their knees on the floor, they hinge completely from the hips and their spine is quite straight as they come down. These people may prefer to have a bolster on top of the thighs, which allows the spine more encouragement to round. The spine really is rounding here, head towards the, the heels. But once you've done all those modifications, we become still and we wait. And with time, the body kind of releases. You can feel kind of a, a softening, a letting go. So in this way, you're invited to go to the next stopping point, your next edge. So we never force it. We allow the body to melt down. If at any time this becomes too much, it's wise to back off of it or even come out of the pose. So while we're gonna be here for another couple of minutes, that may not be appropriate for you. So pay attention to the signals your body is giving you. And that ability to pay attention, that's the theme for the class today. Now use the word dharana. Dharana is a Sanskrit word it's found in many Upanishads and ancient teachings, including the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali. And there he said is the sixth limb of the Ashtanga, the eight limbs of yoga. Dharana means concentration, focus. We're here for one more minute, and I invite you to focus on the most obvious sensation that you're experiencing. Kind of look within, notice a sensation that's fairly strong. Maybe it's along the spine or the inner groins. And notice that sensation, be with that, focus on that. Go two more breaths. Now slowly, which means not fast, slowly start to roll up. And lean back on your hands to release the hips and then you can slide the legs straight. Some of you may want to go all the way to the floor. I have a wall behind me, so I'm just gonna lean against the wall for a few moments. Relax the legs. 
And since we're targeting the hips, draw your awareness to your hips. Notice how they're feeling. Relax your hips. 